us take turns from not liking school at all not wanting to meet people to loving college and literally crying on the last day not wanting to leave that place because sometimes you have to take that step to move forward. Hi guys and welcome to another True Talk with T video. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. As mentioned in the introduction today, I'm going to be sharing with you my college life story, um, a story that honestly changed my life 360 degrees, a journey that changed my life 360 degrees and uh, it honestly it means a lot to me in multiple ways. So let's just get straight to it. But before that, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. I need all your love, support and care. If you're already a part of this channel, thank you so much for joining me. I hope we stay together till the end of time. Now, before I get onto my college college days, I'll do a little pre story. Thoda sa, chota sa. It won't take long. Uh, in school, basically, I was um, a complete introvert. Uh, I had too many insecurities regarding my looks, regarding my weight, and so many other things. And overall, also, I was just very very quiet. Okay, I used to like quiet. I was always talkative with a few people, but quiet in the sense that I was not that person who used to have gangs or used to be very active in you know events or um, competitions or for that matter trips ye sab mai kam karti thi always again because of personal insecurities and i think i started opening up a little bit uh, in my 12th standard because i was uh, that 10 plus 2 category so my college started in 13 so yeah in my 12th standard i started opening up a little bit thoda thoda um and honestly that is because of a teacher uh, i had a teacher in 12th standard his name was kapil sir if you're watching this sir Thank you so much. He honestly really encouraged me in so many ways. He found a lot of talent in me. Obviously, like you know, he I think he uh, he found the truth, Anishka. जो मैं घर पे होती थी ना, he found that girl and he insisted that I bring that girl out in class as well. And because of that, slowly, slowly, I started becoming more active. I started taking more parts in presentations, in group projects, and little, 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 I started getting known. But obviously, it was the last year. कितना करके कितना ही कर लोगे. Uh, but I remember then obviously I got into college and I had to join my college one month late due to personal reasons. So June something my college started with and I had joined on July 17th. And my first day of college I was very nervous because it's a college, new people, new system altogether. You know, school ka toh pata hota hai kya hota hai. Uh, college ka I had no idea. And um, you know, we see so many things in movies toh wo bhi fear tha. Then I was like, oh god, I'm going to go to a month later. Now all my friends and groups have become friends. I'm like shit. Yeah, baby, I'll be an introvert. But I still went with an open mind. And <laughs> that first day, something I can never forget. Two things happened. A, I met my bestest friend today. Touchwood. Ah, uh, वो भी एक अलग ही story है. Comment it below, and I'll tell you um, what that story was. But just know that we are chalk and cheese. We're two very different individuals. But today, I think we are the closest that we can get. Touchwood again. But yeah, एक वो हुआ that I can never forget. And number two that happened is I remember we had this business communication class where we had this beautiful, beautiful teacher, Bulbul Ma'am. Again, Ma'am, if you're watching, uh, I don't know if she's watching, but if she's watching, uh, so we had this business communication class. And that day it was about written communication. So I remember she told us to write. I remember this so clearly. She told us to write just one paragraph uh, on what is the first thing you do when you get up. Everybody wrote it. She was the best teacher ever. Is actually, so she told us to write. Everybody wrote it here, and then and then she's like, okay, you know, who wants to say what they've written and stuff. So, एक आध लोगों ने हाथ ऊपर किया and everything. And I also wanted to, cause I used to, I still like writing. I love writing, but I was very shy, cause you know, first day, new kid in the block, and I didn't want to show. I kind of had too many things going on in my head. I didn't want to show that I'm the padaku person. I didn't want to show that you know. Um, I'm ready to just jump out all that. There, there's so many things going in your head, but nonetheless, um, I think she spotted me a little. I thought I contemplate it, so my hand was like here, like oh, no, like oh, no, like oh. So she saw it, and she's like, read now, read now, read now. So I was like, okay. Then I got up and I read that one paragraph, and uh, I remember her saying this one thing. The whole class was pin drop silence, and she loved what I wrote, and she just told me this one thing that day. She was like, you know what, my dear. If you have it, flaunt it. छुपा के रखोगे तो कुछ नहीं होगा Nobody is gonna come to find, you know, what talent you have or what is the things you are good at. You have to show the world that I am good at this. You have to flaunt your skills, your talent. Only then will the world know it. कोई आके ढूंढने नहीं वाला अगर today you wouldn't have heard this, nobody would in this full class would have known that she's a good writer. And that 
one line if you haven't flaunted has stayed with me till very this moment honestly so many of my decisions are based on that uh, even today and i don't know that one day changed a lot in my life like i said i was a complete introvert you know but i wanted to do a lot of things in college i was doing accounting and finance but as you all know i'm very filmy i'm very dramatic so i always had have a love for bollywood and i remember right after this a week later we had uh, an event uh, sorry we had interviews for the college fest coming up uh, it was colosseum and i was very inclined to join the celebrity management department i really wanted to because celebrities bollywood mein to mujhe bahut wo tha <coughs> sorry so i remember i had gone to my senior and i spoke into them that you know this is my inclination and this and that and they said that you know it's great but just to let you know you can apply for it you can sit for the interview but just to let you know we usually prefer people who have contacts in the industry because it just makes life easier and i obviously do not have any contacts so like it you know it was very demotivating for me as i go like, oh god but i still decided to apply I said you know what dekha jayega jo hoga let's just get into it and i remember i gave the interview uh, it was a 10 to 15 minute interview that's it and then i walked home and everything and i realized next day i was called up and told by the group of seniors because there were other departments and you had to apply for multiple departments i was applying for another department and another senior from another department came and told me uh you know we haven't given a single person a complete 10 on 10 yours was the only interview in the last evening who got a 10 on 10 and we definitely are taking you in that department and four other departments are already fighting to have you in their team and i was shocked for a girl who used to not participate in anything who felt that you know i'm not that great why would people want me in their groups and this and that to suddenly me being wanted in every department for a college fest that i honestly didn't know anything about obviously i was touched i was honored eventually i went into this department only because my heart was in it uh and it was it was all going good you know i managed personally i learned a lot uh, i remember uh, i used to spend days days nights on my own you know finding contacts i built so many contacts myself nobody gave me those contacts i made contacts in the industry i met karan singh over i met rithvik nanjani so many celebrities shilpa anand dil mil gaye fans if any you guys would have my just post some pictures here and there uh, i met almost all of them i spoke to them um uh, raj kunda became a contra- uh, contact uh, obviously in the later years but i learned these skills myself because i wanted to do it and that is the phase when i realized that you know if you want to do something to ab dharti phad ke bhi rasta dhoond rahe ho all my seniors everybody was impressed by this that you know this girl finds a way she didn't have any contacts but she made her contacts i worked day in day out to find contacts you know via this via that stalking checking and tab to social media was not even so much but i still managed and i feel like those moments are where my life changed is going to add one more part from this i remember in that college fest i was living my life i was enjoying it so much i can't tell you but something happened the college fest was to be in november in december first week but something happened uh, october endish i had to drop out because i was not keeping well and i had thought back then that i'll give actually so so i was not sure where am i going in life as all of us are to maine kaha that you know uh, i should focus on my career and everything even though my parents were like you know थोड़ा चिल का मैंने अभी तक बोला नो 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 वॉट इफ आई गेट लेट फॉर ऑल यू यंगस्टर्स हुई थिंक यूर गेटिंग लेट इन कॉलेज यूर नॉट यूर रियली रियली नॉट इवन आई थॉट बट सो आई ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ द कॉलेज फेस्ट एंड आई ड्रॉप आउट फॉर टू एंड हाफ थ्री वीक्स आई वॉज सो सैड आई वॉज सो सैड आई कैन नॉट टेल यू कोई पढ़ाई नहीं हो रही थी कुछ नहीं हो रहा था हेल्थ भी ठीक नहीं हो रहा था बिकॉज यू नो मैन यू सो सैड थिंग्स डोंट वर्क आउट समटाइम्स वी फील लाइक लाइक शाहरुख खान से इंडिया जिंदगी की कुछ बड़ा पाने के लिए हमें डिफिकल्ट पाथ से गुजरना पड़ता है वाई वेन यूर नॉट रेडी फॉर इट वाई फोर्स योर सेल्फ इट्स नॉट दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट गाइज इट्स रियली नॉट समटाइम्स इजियर पाथ लीड टू बेटर डेस्टिनेशन एंड आई एम टेल यू हाउ दिस डेस्टिनेशन चेंज फॉर मी सो आई रिमेम्बर एज यू गाइज नॉट टोल्ड यू आई बैक देन वॉज अ वेरी बिग दिल मिल गए फैन आई स्टिल एम दिल मिल गए ऑल द नाइनटीज टू थाउजेंड किड्स यू गाइज नो एंड आई वॉज ऑब्सेस्ड विद करत सिंह दो वेरी एम्बेसिंग बट आई रियली वॉज ओके so i wanted to meet him so throughout while i was working in that fest i was moving heaven and earth to meet karan singh over like to get him to the fest so my seniors had also said agar aap la pao to lao khud karo but so i was really like working very heavy and then obviously i left 
and two weeks after i left i got a call from somebody at abp who i had built a contact with saying that you know uh, because their owner at abp had promised me i'd gone for a meeting and you know i'd pitched and everything and she really liked me as a person so she said that you know i don't know if this deal will go forward or not but i'll make sure that whenever kavan comes to the office i'll get you to meet him because i was that big a fan and i thought i say bola go you know bachcha samajh ke and everything but she remembered and she actually called me i remember it was november 17th i think if i'm not mistaken november 17th or 18th uh she called me and she said that you know kavan singh over is coming to the office today for an interview and since i promised you so please come and meet him we've told him this call came at 8 o'clock in the morning that is a time i don't even function i am a dead person at 8 o'clock in the morning i'm not a morning person at all i was so happy obviously i got up in a jhatka and i was like yeah 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 i'm coming i'm coming so i got ready and everything mast taiyar ho ke i've gone to meet him and i had literally 3 minutes with him 3 to 4 minutes with him obviously i took pictures and the next thing that i did in voluntary i don't know why it came but it came i told him that you know can you give me a shout out for the fest that you know hi guys colosseum is coming on this day uh, keep an eye for it coming big coming soon that was a tag line i don't know why i did it maybe because i felt at that moment that today i'm meeting him because i started working for that fest if i was not working for that fest i would have never bothered finding these contacts and this and that and maybe a part of me felt that i owe them this much you know that they pushed me to this boundary so i have to give them that even if i'm not working and i did it i don't know what got into me but i i just gave, took that event uh, took that video and then i was so excited to show it to my seniors too because my seniors that time like my uh, hods and everything were very good they were very kind so i ran to college and i'm like you know i went to show them like you see i told you i'm going to get him and this is what i got for you guys and this and that and they were so proud and that day it so happened life took such a turn that two other people from our department the celebrity management department were thrown out because of some you know a uh, discipline issues and everything and my hod was like you know call it divine vengeance call it whatever i was going to call you today but tu khud samne se aaye and you did this and i am in no way letting you not come back you have to come back you are not keeping well tu jaldi ghar jayega apne days choose kar jo karna hai but you are not going and you won't believe it they actually called my mother and they're like aunty please whatever it is she's coming back and i was like you know guys mat bolo let me think let me think because i was still like you know no no i should study actually i should give my actually is exam i should do something big i should focus on maybe internships this might not be so fruitful in life and everything so i came home with a very confused mindset and i remember i was still thinking kya karu kya karu and my mom came to me she said like, you know what chhod baki sab just go and do this your heart and mind and soul is fully there ध्यान भी पूरा वहां है दिल भी पूरा वहां है तो और कहीं मन लगेगा भी नहीं और मन लगेगा नहीं तो रिजल्ट आएगा नहीं माइट एज वेल डू दिस होल हार्टेडली it is your job to prove that their belief in you was right so you have to work even two weeks harder than what you were working to show them that bhai if you have called me back with so much conviction then you have taken the right decision and that stuck with me throughout even till this date if i make a commitment to somebody i make sure i give it my 100% and that's what i tell you guys also whatever you give doing in life give it your 100% because there's somebody else believing in you more than what you're believing in yourself and no skill works more than commitment in those i had i remember there were only 12 days left till my till the college fest and a lot of work was pending and i managed to complete all three um, so as juniors your uh, jobs were included you know getting uh, judges and all that so there were three events jiske judges lane baaki the and i managed to do all of that uh, i managed to help them in whatever form possible and I don't know. It just it became a very 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 beautiful event, and then obviously the next year again I participated as a HOD in another event. That's when I managed to find Raj Kunda on my own, no contacts, and my life changed. Why? I'll tell you because I feel like in college, na unknowingly, knowingly, you taste a little bit of everything, right? There is a, a heartbreak that you'll face. Uh, you'll first time. get the tip of the iceberg of how the real life feels like when you go to college placements when you get rejected when you get uh, accepted you come to know what politics are because college fests mein bahut politics hote hain you come to know what breaking up with friends feels like so college is like the whole trailer of what life is going to be ahead but the good version of it 
and I think I'm just glad that I Achod had a very good three years because for me I owe whatever I am to those three years. I came out of my shell completely. Uh, I became more confident today. I'm presenting in front of you, talking in front of you, because I used to do it then. Um, people in my class used to say, you know, ki kisi ko kisi chiz ke liye manmana ho. If you want to get some pretty convinced, and you have to send Tanishka, she's one of the best pitchers in class, and that changed my life. I never expected someone would say that, but I never took these things for granted because I knew that you know the day I take it for granted, it's gone. I always was grateful. And I always work better because, like my mom said, you know, if somebody is saying that about you, it's your job to prove them right by working two x harder. So that's what I want to tell all of you. If you had some success in life, you know, especially after a long time, if you felt success, feel grateful for it, feel happy for it, but ghamand mat lana. Make sure that you take it in the form that you know now that success has to be a proof that I can do even better, and for that I have to work two x harder. So yeah, this was just one of the many things that changed my life in college. Of course, there are a lot of other stories. Let me know if you guys want to know more about my college life. Anything in particular you want to know, let me know, and I'll talk about it. This video is a lot longer. I think the longest true talk, but I just wanted to share it with you that sometimes life does take turns from not liking school at all, not wanting to meet people, to loving college and literally crying on the last day, not wanting to leave that place because sometimes you have to. take that step to move forward you have to show the world what you have to let them accept and appreciate what you have ending it on this note for now if you like this particular video don't forget to like comment share subscribe i'll see you guys very very soon until then keep sparkling and definitely keep learning